Hello, class. Wow, we have a small class today. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. And you? I'm good. I'm very good. Yes, okay. excited that the week is over. Woo! We have the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you do you work on the weekend, Salema? No, no, I don't work. No? Okay. I work from Friday to no from mo uh, Monday to Friday. <laughs> oh nice, nice, good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Hello, Olga. Olga? Is Olga there? No. I don't know. Olga? Are you there? Maybe not. Okay. What about um, Karina? Hello. How are you, Karina? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Good, I'm very, very good. Yes, okay. Um, oh, there is Olga. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good, thank you. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Um, Olga, you want to do me a favor? Um, actually, Olga and- My name. Both, yeah, exactly. I know, I'm so sorry. Karina too, can you help me with that? I'm so sorry, but I need to have it all in perfect order. Okay, so um, thank you, Karina. Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. Hello. Karen, are you there? No? Ah, there she is. Okay. All right. Hello, Karen. Hello, teacher. How Hi. are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. We. It's the weekend, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? The bad thing about the weekend is that, just like it started, like like you wait for the weekend so much, and then, you know, it goes by like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bad thing about it. But you know. Oh well. That's life. Okay, all right. Hello, everybody. Thank you for connecting on time. I really appreciate that. Um, just give me a moment. Okay. All right. Okay, so as usual, guys, we want to start with our attendance. Um, making sure that you got everybody, uh, I got everybody here. Although um, just by looking at the class, I'm gonna be missing many today. I don't know what happened today. I guess because it's Friday, people are tired, I don't know. Okay. Um, okay, so let's start. Oh, just give me a second. Hmm. Give me one second.
Todos estuvieron ayer. Sí, ¿verdad? Full House tuvimos ayer. Uh, excelente. Vamos a poder repetir. Ok. Alejandro. No, right? Ah, Alejandra is just connecting. Ok, good. Let's give her a chance. Hello, Alejandra. Hello, teacher. Present. All right, good. Thank you. You are just on time. Ok. Um, Chris, eh, Cristina. Cristina. Okay. All right. Mm. And Annie? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Annie. Thank you. Annie? Mari? Money, 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 money. No. Okay. Um, Carolina? Carolina? No? Okay. All right. What about Christy? I think I saw Christy. Present. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. Um, chicos. Okay. I'll tell you later. Creo que voy a, voy a aclarar esto cuando ya creo todos estén acá. Um, Gerson. Gerson. No, no, Harrison. Okay. What about Karina? Present. All right. Welcome, Karina. And Linda? Linda? No, no, Linda. Okay. Julia. Julia. Julia, Julia, not here. Okay. Uh, Marlene? I'm here. Okay, welcome, Marlene. And Maida? Maida, Maida? No, Maida. No, 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 Maida. Miguel? Present. All right, welcome, Miguel. And Nelson? Present. Okay, welcome, Nelson. Norma. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Excellent. Welcome, Norma. And Thank you, teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Olga. Thank you. Rafa. Rafa. Hmm. Qué raro. Siempre Rafa está a esta hora. Okay, maybe he's not going to connect. Zenaida. Tenaida. No? Okay. What about Suleima Rodriguez? Present teacher. All right, welcome. And Argelia? Argelia? Okay. And Juan Carlos? Juan Carlos. No? Okay. Uh, what about Karen? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Karen. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Suleima. Suleima Melgar. No, Suleima. Okay. And Carla. Carla? No, Carla. Okay, all right. I'm going to uh, say the names again of the people I didn't hear, just to make sure that I didn't miss anybody. I'm sorry, teacher. Excuse me, good evening. I am present tonight. Okay. Great. I'm going to right now look at the, the list again, and when you I call your name, you say, Present, okay. So I didn't hear Cristina, Mari, 
Carolina, Gerson, Linda, Mari, Mayra, Rafa, Zenaida, Zenaida. I am, I'm here, teacher. Okay, good. All right. Argelia, eh, Nancy, and Juan, Juan Carlos, Suleima Melgar, and Carla. I didn't hear those people. I'm here, teacher. Oh, there he is. Okay, welcome, Rafa. Okay, very good. Um, okay, great. We are going to start. Um, I no sé, no sé si quiero ver uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Okay, how many people do we have? We have 13. Oh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you guys later because um, half of the class is missing. <laughs> okay, all right. So in that case, um, we are going to start with the PowerPoint. Tell me if you can see my PowerPoint, please. Yes. Yes, it yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So this is a course English for Work program, Intermediate Module 1. The topic is vocabulary practice, uh, day 19. Your facilitator is Jessica Lisette Guerrero. Okay. So, um, eh, Okay, so um, yesterday we were we were we read some uh, conversation, okay, about um, organizing um, staff schedules, okay. So what we're going to do is the following. Um, so discuss the questions below. How does your company organize schedules? In your opinion, what is most efficient? So what is the, is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Do we understand overstaffing? Do we understand that word overstaffing? Excellent teacher. Repeat, please, teacher. Um, El exceso of exceso de, de personal. De uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. So there are too many people that are working. Okay. To give an example, imagine in a restaurant, there are five waiters, but only four customers. In the, in the whole morning, maybe. Uh, very, very little customers, maybe two tables that are full. That's overstaffing because you don't need five people to, um, to be helping two tables. Yeah? Do we understand? I understand. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Very good. Um, okay. So that's overstaffing and understaffing. What is understaffing? Exceso de personal. Right. Uh, exactly. So, but try to give me the idea in English, okay? Um, yes, it is. Um, it means that you have too many people that are working. Okay, so, sorry, um, sorry, uh, too many, sorry, too little people that are working. So imagine that in a, in a restaurant, uh, there are 15 tables that are, that um, have people ordering food and only three waiters or only two waiters. Yes. That's not enough. Okay, you need more. That's understaffing. So it means that you have 
the personnel is not enough for the quantity of work. Does that make sense? Yes? No? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, so in that case, um, what we're gonna do um, is, we're going to discuss these questions with a partner and you understand efficient, right? It's very similar to Spanish, right? Similar to Spanish. Siempre busquen palabras que sean similares. That's what we call in English a cognate. A cognate is a word similar to your own language. For example, uh, this word company, Imagine it's the first time that you read that word. You would know what it means, company. Why? Because it's similar to compañía. It's very similar, right? Yeah, or organize. Organize, the first time you've seen that word, but you know, ah, organize is similar to organizar. Ah, okay, so it's the same, yeah? So efficient, what is efficient then? Eficiente. Exactly. Okay. All right. So do you understand the two questions? Do you no. understand the question or it's not clear? Clear. Spanish. Oh, teacher, Spanish. Number, número uno es cómo la compañía organiza los horarios. Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? No? Okay. All right. I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to put you into pairs and you're going to discuss those two questions, okay? Remember, the idea is to speak English, not Spanish, English. So always keep it in English. If your partner says something in Spanish, answer in English. Because that will remind your partner, oh, yeah, 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 I have to speak in English, okay? But if you continue the conversation in Spanish, ah, you're going to continue and talk and talk and talk in Spanish. And you will not never practice English, okay? So try to do that. Always answer your partner in English, okay? So... Let's get you guys into groups, oh, sorry, into pairs. I'm gonna give you, yeah, I'll give you about seven, six minutes to talk about it, six, seven minutes. Okay, let's open the rooms. In relation in the questions uh, or restaurant or personal restaurant, right? Hello, Nelson. Hello. 
I don't no copy the, the question. If I get... in, in response question. The questions are in the, in the... Um, what page? In the manual. Yes, yes, in, in the page uh, 27. 27, okay. Correct. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, one question. Yes. In relation question, in probably, probably. 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 Yes. In option, my, in option, I restaurant. Me, on option in my work, relation, on restaurant. I don't understand. What, what is question, your question? My question is, mm -hmm. uh, the, the homework is, I, in, I, uh, Como que yo imagino tener un, I have a restaurant. No, 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 this is about Or your... relation, my work. Is this is your work? Mm -hmm. How does your, your company, your company, the one that you work Okay, with, okay, okay. Organize schedules. Okay. And what is okay. the most efficient way to, uh, to avoid overstaffing for your company and, and in general, basically. Okay. Not necessarily for your workplace. I understand. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Okay, Nelson. Uh, <clears throat> in, in the page 27. Yes. And question number one How does your company how does your company organize schedule? schedule? In, Teacher, in my opinion, como digo opinion? In, in, in my, my opinion. No. no, in my opinions. In my opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm, that's correct. In my opinion, in, in my company, organized schedule, schedules uh, the area of, of gerency and in administration and you. In my case, every supervisor organize your area because they um, say the task that everyone has to make for the day. Okay. Second question. In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to go over stuff? and understand. Okay. My brain. Como digo opinar, teacher? Mi mente, o, o, o como digo, my brain piensa. Mi mente piensa, my in brain. My mind. In my mind. In my mind. I think. Ya fue la teacher. In my mind. <clears throat> And the option is the eventual person. The eventual. The eventual person. Why? In you, in you, Nelson. What do you mean by eventual person? <clears throat> uh, in my work is option. Uh, in my work, uh, no payment uh, extras over. Mm -hmm. um, and and require and require eventual personnel. And require eventual personnel. Okay, it's correct. Uh, no like in, in my work, no like extras holes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the eventual persona. You're talking about temporary, temporary personnel. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, temporary. Okay. Good. It's correct, teacher. O corríjame usted siendo perdido en la pregunta. No, no, it's okay, but per, uh, but Ajá. but you okay. say temporary, not not Ajá. not eventual. Temporary. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Mm -hmm. okay. En Jure Nelson. Overstaffing cuando hay mucho personal. Uh, eh, yes. Um, uh, yes, there are a lot of stuff in my area. In my personal opinion, eh, sería entonces over over stuff over stuffing over stuffing over stuffing. Chair. Yes. In you? Yes. Likewise, over stuffing. Okay. Um. Okay, in number number four. Number four, the the cover word. I look at the conversation. What was the question? Um, they said that some like the most uh -huh. efficient. That okay, some well, like the most efficient. The efficient way. In, I think we answered answer that yesterday. Answer. You, you can say, you can say answer. 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 Answer, yeah, more or less. Answer. Much better. Okay. Answer. Answer, okay. Okay, um, it is the best way to, to keep, keep your stuff. Stuff organized and on time. And on okay. time. It's a very well. Um, okay. And repeat the conversation. Okay, if you want, go ahead. Go ahead, Vanessa. Uh, Gilbert. Okay, go ahead. Let's start. Okay. Laura. Who do you keep the scalp to organize? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient. Well, I beat it, I beat it save a lot of time. Yes. It is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Okay, very good. Um, so um, I think we had enough time. So tell me, how does your company organize schedules? I'm gonna open it up, anybody wants to answer. How does your company organize schedules? Mm-hmm. Teacher in my company organizes schedules, uh, the chairs is uh, the area of gerency mm -hmm. and administration and administ 
Administration is administration. Administration. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Do I? All right. What about the others? Mm -hmm. no, no quiero tener que, que estarles diciendo fulanito, menganito. So you, you go ahead and um, you have, this is your opportunity to practice English. Teacher me. Okay. All right, go for it. In my, in my case, I have a fixed schedule because I am the only employee. Okay, you're the only employee. Carolina, you're the only employee? Yes, uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I am the only employees. Employee. Employee, perdón. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Uh, all right, very good. Excellent. Uh huh. Yes, Anaida. Uh, Good evening. In my case, I make the schedule for 55 people. You make the schedule? Yes. <laughs> wow. I, I, I assigned the chief. You assign? Uh, assign? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I assigned the chief uh, and organized for... We have um, how you say, various. Many? Many, many a, a chief. For example, uh, two o'clock, two o'clock p.m. to uh -huh. 11 o'clock. Uh -huh. Okay. Or six o'clock a.m. to three o'clock p.m. Or um, and we have a uh, many chief for us assigning assign uh -huh. assign for the waiter waitress captain uh, hostess and admins and, and people. The office administra administrative Administ and administrative and supervise administrative administry and supervisor food and beverage. Wow. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Wow. That's that's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yes. Next next question is. In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Teacher, me. Okay, go for it, Olga. In my opinion, but the company, in case the understaffing, the company should be offered um, good benefit and good salary. And in case the overstaffing, in my opinion, the manager should be organized the task uh, between our employees and optimize the time. Okay. That's, that's all. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Who else? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Oh. Okay, go for it, Alejandra. Very good. Okay. Uh, bueno, in my world, we are um, 30 employees distribute, distribute, ¿cómo se dice distribu distribuidos? Distribute. Dist 
distribute, okay, distribute in different areas. And for seasons, we get to be 15 people for the managers. For the man managers, I think it is somewhat difficult to balance the schedule. Okay, okay, very good. All right, excellent, very good. Okay, um, chicos, um, the the idea with this is like when I when I open it up for you guys to, to talk and everything is because I want to give you the opportunity of you for by, by yourself saying, yes, I want to do it. Yeah, because um, if I force you to do it, it's not very good, right? So remember, the, the, the will to want to learn, that you really want to learn a language has to come inside, okay? It has to come from the inside. So, um, it, you know, you, you got to remember that so that um, that way, um, you know, you will not have to uh, be like, if you, if you have the motivation inside, you don't need anybody to be pushing you. You push yourself, right? So that's the important thing. So every anytime I say, okay, open up your microphones, ask a question or um, give your opinion, take advantage of it. No one's going to laugh at you. And if you make a mistake, I will correct you, but it's only because I want you to speak perfectly later, right? Okay, and if, if I can't, if I don't correct you, you will be making the same mistakes, but that doesn't mean that that is a bad pro a bad thing It's actually quite the opposite It's a good thing right that that um, somebody can correct you okay. I actually want to stop for a moment. Ya que tengo la mayoría acá. Yo creo que sí tengo prácticamente a todos. Casi, <laughs> casi a todos acá. Entonces, solo quería um, aclarar un detallito. Um, cuando nosotros, eh, el primer día de clase, hablamos acerca de las indicaciones, los requisitos de INSAPORP y todo eso, hablábamos acerca de que eh, uno de los requisitos es de que su nombre esté puesto en, la, eh, en, el, en Zoom, Eh, con su nombre completo, ¿verdad? Que aparezca su nombre completo. Junto con su cámara, por supuesto, ¿verdad? Eh, y también hablamos que si usted no aparecía con su nombre completo, que podía cambiarlo. Le eh, expliqué cómo cambiarlo um, para que apareciera su nombre como aparece en el DUI. Y también les mencioné de que si ustedes eran oyentes, Entonces ponían, podían poner en paréntesis la palabra oyente. Ahora, yo he notado que varios de ustedes están poniendo la palabra oyente uh, en paréntesis, pero creo que la idea sea como no está muy clara. Entonces déjeme aclarar a qué se refiere cuando es un oyente. Eh, un oyente no es una persona que se siente... Eh, que, que se siente mal ese día y que no va a participar, ¿verdad? Mucho, solamente va a estar escuchando la clase. No, ese no es un oyente. Tampoco es el oyente, la persona que tal vez está en su trabajo y entonces eh, que solo está conectado y, y no está participando. Tampoco es un oyente. Ok, eh, les explica esto porque necesitan entender la, cuándo es que Insafor, para cuándo es y un oyente de Insabor. Toda aquella persona que se inscribió en el curso oficialmente con, eh, con, um, para este nivel no es un oyente. ¿Ok? Entonces, si usted puso una solicitud para este curso, usted no es un oyente y usted nunca lo va a hacer para este módulo. Tal vez más adelantito para otros módulos, pero para este modo no puede poner un paréntesis la palabra oyente. Entonces, ¿qué es un oyente? El oyente es la persona que, um, que por X motivo no pudo poner la solicitud eh, en, en el tiempo que se requería, 
¿verdad? Pero que todavía lo hemos incluido para que en el próximo nivel se pueda agregar al grupo. Ese es un oyente. Y cada, bueno, la, las personas que están como en calidad de oyentes ya saben eh, precisamente esto, ¿verdad? Se, a, a, se les habló de antemano, ¿verdad? De que, de que tal vez no es, iban a estar incluidos en el, um, en, en los, um, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, en los documentos oficiales de INSAPOR, pero que igual se considera como parte de la clase, tiene eh, ahí todo, o sea, tiene, um, tiene todas las la explicaciones, ¿verdad? Que todos los demás eh, puede, o sea, participa igual que todos los demás, completa la, las tareas, ¿verdad? Y la, la plataforma, como, to, como todos los demás. También se le mira su, um, su entrega en, en la asistencia, ¿verdad? Para que asegurarse que realmente esa persona está comprometida para continuar para el próximo curso y así su, sucesivamente. Entonces, eh, ustedes ya saben, eh, si ustedes están en esa calidad, ¿verdad?, de, de, de participantes, entonces ahí se pone la palabra oyente. Entonces, en ese caso, eh, usted va a poner su, la palabra oyente en todas las clases, no solamente en una clase, ¿ok? Solamente les, les, les explico eso para que no haya confusión porque he notado es, ese, eh, esa, esa um, situación, ¿verdad? Y pues quería aclararlo. No sé si, si he es, eh, sido suficientemente clara con eso o hay alguna duda. Eh, teacher, yo siempre he tenido la duda en cuanto a eso de oyente. A mí nunca me han puesto así de oyente, pero ¿por qué lo ponen a uno de oyente? O sea, es porque los papeles los ingresan tarde, lo, 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 uno, o, sea, ¿o por qué será? Cuestión administrativa, eh, yo eso es cuestión administrativa, mi, perdón, cuestión administrativa y realmente no sabría decirle mayor cosa porque no estoy en ese rubro, ¿verdad? O sea, no soy no tengo idea, ¿verdad? Con qué es lo que sucede. Pero lo que sí sé es de que, uh, de que uh, pues, la persona es, es, se incluye la clase, pero simplemente uh, para ese módulo en el que está, no están en, los, um, eh, en las fichas oficiales, digamos, de Insafor. Sin embargo, esa persona se compromete a participar y todo, y eh, como cualquier otro persona en el grupo, ¿verdad? Como que estuviera eh, porque se le está dando la oportunidad para ver si en el próximo nivel si va a dar el ancho, ¿verdad? Si realmente se ha comprometido, ¿verdad? Porque si, si, si la persona que es un oyente eh, dice, ah, no, pero es que yo soy oyente, entonces ah, no hace la plataforma, no, no se conecta, se deja en cuando, se conecta. Y entonces, entonces lo que está demostrando es que realmente no está muy comprometido, ¿verdad? Con, con, con el programa. Y entonces, por lo tanto, pues, ¿verdad? Se considera eso para también el próximo nivel, cuando ya se pueda incluir. Entonces, por eso es que es importante que si usted está en calidad de oyente y creo que ya administración ya um, tuvo que, bueno, de hecho hablaron con usted um, y, eh, de, ese, de esos, todos esos puntos, ¿verdad? Que, que se, para, para realmente para mí como profesora, aquí todos son alumnos participantes, yo no distingo entre que ah, uno es oyente y el otro no, o sea, para mí todos son iguales. Yo los, les voy a pedir lo mismo a todos, que participen, que se conecten, que encenden su cámara, que hagan la plataforma, todo, todo igual, ¿verdad? Y tienen mi ayuda completa, ¿verdad? Eh, si ustedes um, están en, 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 o sea, quieren aún alguna pregunta, quieren hacer una pregunta ahí en, en el WhatsApp y todo, ahí estoy para responder y todo. O sea, para mí no hay ninguna diferencia, es solo por cuestión administrativa. ¿Ok? No sé si, si, si está bastante claro eso. Clarísimo, teacher. Y yo ya he sido teacher. oyente. Yo okay. ya he sido es oyente y, y la, la explicación que ha dado usted es más que clara. He sido oyente porque, <coughs> perdón, la parte administrativa In de English. mi empresa se tardó en... 
en enviar los documentos. Entonces, a la hora que llegaron los documentos míos, el grupo ya estaba prácticamente completo. Y para no dejarme fuera, me, me dejaron de oyente. O sea, eh, eh, sí, correcto, um, Zenaida. Esa es una de las situaciones que se puede dar, ¿verdad? Como le dijo, hay varias diferentes situaciones, ¿verdad? Y, y pues yo no soy la persona indicada para decirle esto y esto pasa porque no soy administración, ¿verdad? Pero, uh, pero sí se da es, esa situación y nosotros como Inglés Corporativo no queremos um, perjudicarlos a ustedes porque sabemos de que si usted si usted se queda fuera, puede ser que incluso tenga que esperar un gran montón de tiempo para que llegue nuevamente otro, otro grupo de su mismo nivel eh, para poder incluirlo. Entonces, para no perjudicarlos, entonces nosotros los absorbemos, digamos, ¿verdad? Que es algo que, que Insafor a lo, a permi lo permite, ¿verdad? Lo, lo um, sí, ajá, eh, tiene, o sea, nos dan la autorización para hacer eso. Eh, pero, claro, también nosotros eh, estamos, como le digo, eh, evaluando todo eso, ¿verdad? De que si la persona realmente está comprometida para que ya en el próximo nivel, sí, pueda eh, participar como un, un participante ya eh, completo de la clase, ¿verdad? Con, con Insafor. Pero en sí, como le digo, como nosotros, como uh, inglés cor uh, corporativo, nosotros... Eh, ustedes son todos nuestros alumnos independientes si, si son el participante oficial en, en INSAFOR o, solo, o están de oyente. Para nosotros siempre son nuestros alumnos y nos vamos a estar ahí ayudando y cuidando como, como eh, ustedes lo merecen. ¿verdad? Solo que sí les pedimos este detallito que todos también se comprometan a lo mismo, ¿verdad? Eh, todo lo que hemos hablado anteriormente que son um, la plataforma, completar la plataforma, eh, conectarse a los, el 80% de la clase mínimo, tener sus cámaras encendidas, eh, participar, ¿verdad? Porque todas esas cosas, de hecho, tenemos que mandar un reporte eh, que habla acerca de, de cómo, um, eh, ¿verdad? Cómo, cómo vemos todo en la clase. Y entonces todos esos detallitos se, 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 se toman en cuenta, ¿verdad? ¿Hay alguna inquietud todavía? No, clarísimo. Perfecto. No, teacher. Ok. Muy bien. Ok, excelente. Entonces, continuamos. Uh, porque sí si tenemos varias cosas que ver el día de hoy. Ok. So, we're going to continue. Ok. All right, so... We're, today we're going to be learning about comparing three or more people or things. Before we, we, were, uh, we looked at comparing two things, right? Two things, two people, two, um, two animals, right? Uh, we talked about, for example, being more, uh, more uh, incredible, right? Um, or, um, or faster, or bigger, um, or uh, easier, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, so we talked about that. But that's only, we were talking about comparing two things. Here we're going to be comparing three or more people or things. And when I say three or more, like literally more, it could be an infinite, right? To give an example, I can, I can say... Um, fulanito is the best in the the best runner in the world because he got a gold medal in the Olympics. And what I'm doing is I'm comparing him to all the people in the world, right? And that's like you know billions of people. So you can literally compare three or infinite amounts of, of people or things. But what you're saying is that that is the most, uh, the top of everything. So let's take a look at how we do this. This is called the superlative form to begin with. Okay, so let's write that as superlative form. 
is a name, okay? We use the superlative form of adjectives to compare more than two persons or things in a group. Notice it's more, more than two. So that, that means three or more, right? Okay, so example, Jack is the fastest server. So maybe I have many servers in my restaurant. Maybe I have 10 servers in my restaurant. And from the 10 servers, Jack is the fastest, okay? That was the saddest moment in the shift. So maybe there were a few sad moments in the shift. Maybe there were three sad moments, but from all those moments, that was the saddest. Then we have the busiest hour is during lunch. So there are 24 hours in a day in a restaurant. Maybe they are working, I don't know, 16 hours. And from the 16 hours, all of the hours compared, we have the busiest is lunch. Okay. The most interesting customers come to our restaurant. Okay, so we are, we're talk, we're comparing all the customers in the world, okay, and from those customers, the most interesting ones are the ones that come to our restaurant, okay? So how do you form the superlative form? It's very, very similar to the comparative form, which is the one where you use the, the bigger, smaller, um, more popular, um, easier, et cetera, et cetera. This, it's very, very similar. The only difference is that instead of putting ER, like we normally do with the comparative, what we do is we put EST. EST. Okay. And instead of putting more, we use most. When it's the when we have two or more syllables that are longer. The other difference is that we also use the word the at the beginning. We always use the word the. Okay. So the superlative form for one syllable adjectives is made of the plus an adjective plus EST, okay? Okay, so we can say, to give you some examples, um, Excuse me, I have a question. Yeah. When, when should I use most and more? Okay, I, I, will, I will answer that in a moment. Okay. Um, okay. All right, so for example, so when we have one syllable adjectives, Okay. Um, and uh, and most in the syllables. Okay, so we have, for example, let's say, let's we use the word big. Oh no 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 no. Let's, let's do another one. Tall tall. So we can say the, and then we use the adjective tall, and then we put est est. So we say the tallest. Okay. Or we let's see. We're talking about. Um, the the adjective uh, rich, okay? So we use the word the, right, from here. The adjective rich, and then we add EST, the richest, okay? I'll give you another one. We have the, the, the verb um, fast, so we use so it's the adjective a fast. So we use the because of this. And then we use fast from the adjective. 
and then put we put EST. Okay. Now remember in much more. Sorry. In in May. May. Uh, in May and not adjective. S. No, no, you never add an S in adjectives. Never. Okay. Yeah. In Spanish, yes, we can say, um, for example, we can say, um, ellos son altos, right? Altos. But in English, we never add an S or anything to an adjective, just the EST. Okay. Now, also remember, um, like there are um, adjectives that follow the rule of the one, one, one. Do you remember that rule that I taught you? For example, big, right? So let's say the verb big. So we have, we start with the word the because of that. Then we have big, big, B-I-G. And notice that this, this adjective follows the rule of one syllable, big, and it finishes in one vowel, I, and one consonant, G. So what we do then in that case, uh, we double the G, okay, double the G, and then we put the EST. So we have the biggest, which is actually the reason why um, we have the, um, the restaurant, right? The fast food restaurant that's called biggest. Why? Because it's comparing, um, it's comparing itself to all the other ones. It could be like the other restaurants, the other hamburgers or whatever it is that they're comparing. Yeah. So we have double G. Okay. Do you remember this rule? ¿Se acuerdan de esa regla? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Okay. Excellent. Um, and also there is the other rule which is um, that when you, um, when um, you have oops, um, the, the finishes in a Y, okay, for example, easy. So we always start with the, okay. Then we use the adjective, which is in this case, easy. Okay. But remember that we, we mentioned that for, for the adjectives that finish in Y, we eliminate the Y, okay? And what we do in that case is we, um, we add I, E-S-T, okay? So what ends up happening is that really we do this. Hold on. Oops. Ah. I can't seem to. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oi. Te quiero borrar este. Very good. Um, okay, so what we end up ha what ha ends up happening is that we end up doing this. The easiest. Do you remember that rule? Do you remember that rule? Not teacher. No. 
Mina. We talked about verbs, uh, sorry, adjectives that finish in Y, right? All the adjectives that finish in Y. So we have like a pretty and ugly and um, easy and uh, fussy and um, busy, okay? So all the ones that, all of the adjectives um, that finish um, in Y, then what we do, what we always do to make it, uh, to compare is we eliminate the Y Always, we eliminate the Y. <coughs> Excuse me. And instead of the Y, we add the word, the letter I. Okay. Okay, so it, we basically, we replace. We replace the, the Y with the I. Okay, that's pretty much what we're doing. Replacing the Y with the I. Okay. And after we've done that, after replacing the Y with the I, we put an E, S, T. Okay. So we, we, we add this part right here. So it ends up being um, EST, so we say the prettiest okay, or the ugliest okay, or the easiest. or the fussiest. Or the busiest. Okay. Got it. Yes, teacher. I got it. Okay, so that that's that's the rule that that also is is applicable for the comparative, right? When you're only comparing two. And then we have the adjectives that are two or more syllables long. Uh, we use the word the again. We use the word most and then the adjective with no change. The adjective with no change. So uh, we end up with the words like the most, um, the most amazing, okay? So we have the from here, the word most, and then just the adjective, no change, right? Okay. Or we say the most popular, okay? Or the most famous, okay? Because that's two syllables, famous, right? Two syllables, okay? The most famous. Or the most um, um, interesting, because it's three syllables, interesting, okay, All right? Uh, and so on, or you have, you want more spectacular, the most spectacular, spectacular, four, right? Four uh, um, syllables. Is that pretty clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yeah? The verb is in base, in Mm -hmm. in base form yeah no change no change to the, uh, to the adjective this is that these are adjectives not verbs but adjectives mm -hmm. right okay 
So that's an example. Um, okay, and, but of course, there's always exceptions to the rule. And the exceptions are with the, with the adjectives good, bad, okay? So notice them um, for, For adjectives like good and bad, they are irregular. So and not, we do not use the, this rule. We don't say goodest or baddest. That does not exist, goodest or baddest, okay? So make sure you do not follow the rule. Instead, what we do is we say, the kitchen managers have the best schedule. The best comes from the word good, okay? So instead, we don't say goodest, we say, we say the best. That's where it comes from, okay? So the best comes from, from good. And the same thing as applicable for the worst, right? So it says, um, for the, I usually receive the worst tips. And the worst comes from the adjective, who knows? Bad. Bad, exactly. This comes from the word bad. So we know, we don't say, so we don't say baddest. Baddest does not exist. You say the worst. Okay? Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right. So um, just make sure that you got it. I'm going to give you more examples. Okay. So. Here's some more examples. The runt of the litter is the smallest, the smallest. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. So we're comparing Jupiter to all the other planets in our solar systems. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. So we're comparing Mount Everest to all the mountains in the world. She is the smartest girl in our class. So we're comparing her to all the girls in our class. I am the shortest person in my family. So I'm comparing myself to all the people in my family. Jerry is the least worried about the game. So from all the people that are worried, he's the least worried, he doesn't care. This is the most interesting book I have ever read. So I've read many books and I'm comparing this book to all the other books. Sam is the most handsome boy in the whole school. So there are many, many boys in the school and Sam is the most handsome from all the boys. I can't find my most comfortable jeans. So I have many jeans, many pairs of jeans and I can't find the one that is the most comfortable. That was the best movie ever. Okay, so I've seen many movies and I think that one is the best compared to all the ones I've seen before. And that's it, okay? So any questions at this moment? Thank you. Is it clear or do you need more explanation? Okay, all right, we're gonna do some exercises, but before we do the exercises, I'm going to take attendance. So listen carefully, Alejandra. Present chair. Cristina. 
Annie? Present teacher. Uh, Mari? Present teacher. Present teacher. Eh, acabo de escuchar a dos personas decir present. ¿Quién dijo? Cristi, Cristina le, le, le contestó. Ah, ok. Ok. Carolina. Present. Uh, Cristi. Present. Gerson. Gerson. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Julia. Julia. Eh, Marlene. Marlene. No, okay. Uh, Maida. Mayra? Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Miguel? Present. Okay. Present. Um, Nelson? Present. Norma? Present teacher. Rafa? Present teacher. Zenaida? Present teacher. Suleyma Rodriguez? Present teacher. Stephanie? Present teacher. Nancy? Nancy? Juan Carlos? Present teacher. Oh, okay. Juan Carlos? Present teacher. Mm -hmm. um, got it. Uh, so no Juan Carlos, ¿verdad? Karen? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Suleyma Melgar? Present teacher. Okay. And Carla? Present. Okay. Very good. Okay. So what we're going to do now is practice this. Um, this this um, comparing three or more people or things. We're going to practice with exercises. So you're going to underline the correct word or phrase. Super easy. You're just going to decide which one is the, the correct one. Is it the most important or the more important thing? Okay. And I want you to do it for the other ones. Oops, sorry.
Okay, how are you doing? Are we finished? Or do you need more time? I need more time, teacher, please. More time, please. Okay. okay. Okay, how are you doing now? Is that better? Are we ready now? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. I'm going to get you to work. I'm gonna go make you go back to your group uh, or with your partner, better said, and you're gonna compare your answers, okay? Remember, compare, okay? So don't... Now, compare means you're going to discuss, right? You're not just going to say, ah, yo tengo tal. Okay, no, I, I want you to, to discuss, like, if you have different answer, why? Why do you think that one, one is the correct answer over the other one? Okay, so I'm going to open up the rooms again. I'm going to give you a little bit less time. I think, I think you can do it in five minutes. Let's open all the rooms. Miguel, are you having any problems? Miguel, are you having problems? What happened here? Why are we so quiet? I don't know because Karina is not here. Karina? 
Okay, there she is. Okay, she was she was just shy. <laughs> okay, a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what do you have in the second one? Um, number six. Yes. Do you want to do the the number two? Because uh, the first one is ready. It is the best. Don't use the best schedule as a reward. Yes. Um, number three. Jane. Jane. Mm -hmm. Is the fastest waitress. Yes. yes. Number four. four. Delivery orders are the most popular. Ring no. Right now. Right now. Thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So the number five. This restaurant has the prettiest Pre Pre decorations. Pre Okay. Uh -huh. And number six, the chicken manager wore the lo longer. Uh -huh. si thing. Chiefs. Chiefs. Uh -huh. Chiefs. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, no different. Why not? No. Um, the longest. Uh, the longest, yes, as, as, um, ay, así la tengo, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> sí. Uh, the longest ship. Ah, ok, ok. Um, quiero ver. Todas no salieron iguales. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo no entendí mucho la teacher del recuadro de donde dice Adjective, light bulb, and bad are the irregular adjective. Uh -huh. Lo voy a repasar cuando repase la clase, la voy, a, la voy a escuchar otra vez, porque casi no le comprendí en eso, en lo que ella estaba diciendo. Sobre, lo, sobre la, el adjetivo es el, de lo que está en el recuadro. About good and bad. Ajá. ajá. Um, Tú le entendí, le comprendiste ahí. Es que como que cambiaba la estructura, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, se lo voy, lo voy, a, lo voy a explicar en español porque en inglés me cuesta un poquito. Vale. Sí. Por ejemplo, como cuando los adjetivos solamente tienen una sílaba, no se va a utilizar the most, sino que solamente ah. se le va a agregar de y luego eh, se agrega al principio de y luego el adjetivo, el superlativo, perdón, y se le cambia el es y se le agrega, perdón, el est. Por ejemplo, de mm, un ejemplo que aparezca acá. The fastest, the fast. Uh -huh. Fast solamente es una sílaba. Entonces, Ajá. en este caso no vamos a ocupar the most fast, sino que vamos ah. a utilizar the fastest. Entonces, en este caso, good and bad, they just have one syllable. One syllable. En este caso, no vamos a utilizar the goodest, ni vamos a utilizar the baddest, sino que estos dos, estos dos adjetivos cambian y van a, van a cambiar, por así decirlo, en, en sí toda la estructura de la palabra. Uh -huh. En este caso, para good no va a ser the goodest, sino que va uh -huh. a ser the better, the best, uh -huh. perdón, the best, the best, uh -huh. the best, para superlativo, the best. Y para bad no va a ser the baddest, sino que va a ser the worst. Solamente son para esos dos eh, superlativos que no se va a seguir la, 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 for, la fórmula, por así decirlo. De, del principio. Thank you, Argel. You're welcome. <ríe> que ahí me, me trabé. Y yo no le pregunto mucho a Ticha porque no me cuesta pronunciar. 
pero but you can ahí. try it <ríe> ok pero ya me quedó claro uh -huh. sí ahí es. ajá thank you don't worry okay. about the pronunciation Sulaima <ríe> It's, I'm sorry, teacher. No, no, don't be sorry. <laughs> don't be sorry. Um, don't worry about the pronunciation, Sulema. It, it's it's the important thing is that you understand. So it's okay. So, uh, Thank you, teacher. Uh, you you can la pena. <laughs> no, no debe sentirse penada. Uh, okay, thanks. Solo piensa cómo cómo haría usted si estuviera en una eh, en un país donde nadie hablara español. María. Preguntar, preguntar, mi amor. Aunque sea por ah, seña, ¿verdad? Por seña, me daría con usted. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí. sí. Eh, sorry, <risa> teacher, no sabes. Es que sí, que me da un poco de pena, pero sí, no le había comprendido aquí esto que me escuchó. Okay. No. And thank you, Argelia. You 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 had a very good explanation. Me, 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 me You're está, welcome. Me está, me está quitando mi trabajo. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. so, no, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Uh, very good. Very, very well, very well summarized. When the... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay, are you ready? Yes. Are, yes. Okay, yes. I'll see you in the main room. Okay, see you. Thank you, Angelia. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Okay. All right, class, we are ready to check. Oops. Right. Okay, so here we go. First one. Um, bye. Um, I'm just going, I, I'm just going to ask you guys to open up your microphone and give me the answer. I'm going to say my heart. The most important or the more important thing is to get to find a uh, substitute for sick people. For sick the, people. Most important. the most important. The most important. Very good. The most important. Excellent. Okay. Next. Okay. Don't use the uh, the best or the goodest schedule as a reward. Don't the use best. the best. The best. The goodest. The best. Remember that good, good is a regular adjective. Yeah. Okay. Irregular. So that's why you don't say the goodest. You say the best. Okay. Next. Jane is the fastest or fast, fastest waitress? The fastest. Jane fast, is fast. the fastest. Very good. She is the fastest, this one. Very good. Okay. Um, oops. Delivery orders are the most popular or the more popular right now the most popular popular the most popular right the most popular oh. excellent this restaurant has the prettiest or the most pretty uh decorate oops the most pretty decoration Pretty. The most pretty, pretty decoration. Pretty decoration. 
the prettiest. Why? Because remember, pretty finishes Very. with I. Okay, the rule is a regular verb. Right, eliminate the, uh, the Y, change to I, and put EST. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, very good. Next, and the last one. The kitchen manager works the longest or longest at his shifts? Well, the longest. The longest. The longest. The longest. Longest. Longest, longest shifts. Very good. Okay, bravo. Any questions? Any problems? No. No? No. Okay. All right. Good. Let's move on. We're going to now go to, um, so it's your turn. Work in your assigned, sorry, I should say breakout room. <laughs> sorry, guys. Let's just say work in your assigned breakout room with a partner. No es dos diferentes. I said, eh, me equivoqué. Discuss which of these strategies you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstaffing and discuss your choices with the class. So here we have the different, the different strategies. Okay. Take a look at them. Do you understand the vocabulary? So we have provide the schedule to your employees quickly, find a method to communicate quickly with employees, take working preferences into account, schedule having your employees' strengths in mind, allow for changes in the schedule, prevent absenteeism using phone reminders. Okay, we understand? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna give you five minutes to discuss with your partner. Um, I'm going to change your groups. Teacher, I don't understand. Okay, remember we've been talking about overstaffing or understaffing. Okay. Yeah. So what methods do you think are effective, are good to avoid overstaffing? or understaffing, and they give you a list of strategies which are good in your opinion, which are good, which one not effective. Does that make sense? The strategy is in my work. Huh? Yeah, so which ones are what in your opinion which ones are effective and which ones are not very effective okay in general not in general in general, in general. In general. okay do we understand yes teacher yes the neither you don't understand Excuse me, teacher. You, you don't understand? I'm sorry, but I attended the call for the work. Now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought I, I saw you shaking your head, so I thought maybe you didn't understand. I'm sorry, teacher, but I have a very busy because in a couple of more days, I go to the vacation and mm. I need to uh, clear all the work. Of course. Yes, I understand. Thank no you. problem. Okay. So everybody's clear than what you're going to be doing. Just discussing which, so the strat, these are the 
These are the possible strategies. Provide the schedules to your employees quickly, find a method to communicate quickly with employees, take working preferences into account, schedule having your employees' strengths in mind, allow for changes in the schedule, prevent ab absenteeism using phone reminders. From those strategies, which one do you think are effective and which one not effective? Okay? That's all, just talking, only talking, that's it. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, Tisha. Okay, here. Nancy, are you having problems? Nancy, are you having problems? Yes, teacher. Eh, la conexión. Mm, okay. Entra o salgo. Entra o salgo. <ríe> no sé. Vaya. Eh... Están en el break room ahorita, ¿verdad? Sí, la voy a mover, pero uh, lo, creo que la voy a tener que mover dos veces, ¿ok? Eh, y... ¿Está bien? Ok. No, no se puede conectar. Ok, vamos a intentarlo una vez más. Y me sacó otra vez. Ok, ¿Qué? vamos a intentarlo una vez más. time we are overstating because the salary in other companies is better but the boss um, hire at the new employees and is oh. Difficult for for me in, in in case with I have explained at the new employees in in is seguido es seguido. Give me. Crispo and 
understaffing y overstaffing overstaffing is more personal most most personal and understaffing is uh, menos person okay in my work uh, the, the more often uh, is in the personal the, the security personal is external mm. is overstaffing or understaffing uh, for for recourse recourse uh, in payment of of customer mm -hmm. okay my case, the strategy to not have many staff is here for fees we need. I don't hear you. I hear you so bad. My connection internet. Yeah. Maybe you can write in the chat, please. Do not allow, understand. Allow for change in the schedule. In my, in my company, uh, the schedule or for workers mm -hmm. uh, the SIM uh, at uh, 5 p.m. Your your co-worker have different schedule or no? No. No, it's equal to work. It's the same. It's, equal to it's the same to all of my company. Oh, in my case too, all employees have the same schedule. Um, we have an exception. For example, the drivers, the technicians the account office they have worked most hours that yeah. using phone reminders yes running after using using phone reminder hours mm. hours ah, confusing my confuse is a health, a health, my partners. Over the staffing or under the staffing? Okay. What are you painting on Rafa? In my personal opinion, understaffing. My under. Understaffing. Understaffing. I think so. Mm -hmm. Abilities. Abilities. Uh, it's important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
because it's important with employee uh, according uh, with abilities. Uh, sus habilidades, to, to their abilities. Uh -huh. Is this is number four? It number five. Yes, I love this. I love for change in the sector. Uh, yeah. Flexible, como se dice? A schedule more flex, no sé cómo se dice flexible. Ana dice, in my case, the strategy to not have many staff is hired for first when needed. Need. The method to communi communicate is the mail and team. Ah, okay. Mail is and team. Mm -hmm. My my work uh, is peers uh, the, the effective communication is the, is very valuable. Very uh, very valuable. Value. Uh -huh. Value. Uh, uh, all employees, uh, all days, uh, all moments, uh, is so valuable. Ah, okay. In my case, the, the method to communicate with my coworker is um, in email or in WhatsApp. Okay, all right. So quickly tell me which, in your opinion, are the best um, strategies? Uh, me, Tisha. Uh -huh. For my opinions, is the number one provide the education to your employees quickly. It's very important for, for me. Okay. Uh, find a method. I, I I don't remember how do you say uh, method. Method. Methods. Find a method to communicate quickly with the employees. Okay. Uh, schedule having your employees straight straight in mind. Okay. Along for change in this change. In the education. 
Okay, very good. Very good, bravo, excellent. Very good job, okay. All right, what about, uh, anybody else wanna share? In my case, teacher, mm -hmm. with the number two, I think about uh, find a method to communicate quickly with employees is very important because each employee now the work um, we do all co-workers. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Good. Any other ideas? Teacher. Yeah. Um. I. I mean. Um. Uh, that depend what kind of the of of job um apply all all numerals maybe when i i i talk with carolina mm -hmm. and Celia uh, that number one two three four and five mm -hmm. is uh are very important okay. but number number six um uh, maybe the don't use in in in, in this time okay yeah okay. all right very, very good. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to share? Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to share again my PowerPoint. Tell me if you can see it. You see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, so we're gonna be practicing a conversation here. But before we practice, first of all, how are employees mo monitored at your company? How do they monitor employees? Cameras, through the computer, what? How do they monitor? Do they have supervisors that are looking? What? What do they do? Cameras in my company. Cameras. Cameras. Okay. In my case, in my uh, cameras. Okay. Cameras. Okay. All right. And what kind of uh, documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job? What's the documentation? In my case, teacher. We use a write-up, write-up, uh, I don't know. Okay. A pen? Uh-huh. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Pen and paper. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. The old-fashioned way. Sure. Great. Mm-hmm. What else? In my word, AP. Action or personal. Okay. Okay, very good. In my work, it's mm -hmm. evaluation uh, every six months. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Me too. Me too. The evaluation is for uh, personal um, the employees with me or my uh, for work co worker okay okay very good in my work oh, okay uh -huh. in my work uh -huh. uh, verify Verifying if I have uh, done everything that has been indicated to me personally. To be personally. 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 Uh, personally. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, okay. Excellent. Okay. So what we're going to do, practice uh, the model conversation. 
close, close your microphones, please. I'm going to say the conversation and um, you're gonna practice with me, okay? But with your microphones off. So we have the kitchen manager who says, where's Mario? He is late for his shift. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, as usual, you can write in the chat any words that you are not sure of the pronunciation. Okay, I think that's it, right? Okay, all right. Open up your microphones and repeat after me. Goodness. 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 Told. 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 Earlier. 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 Directly. 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 Found. 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 You want me to repeat this word? Directly. 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 Found. Found. Substitute. 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 Okay, very good. All right, now which words do you not understand the meaning? You can write in the chat. 
What words do you not understand the meaning? Okay, so you understand all the words. Bravo. Excellent. Okay, good. All right, we're going to finish there today because our time is over. I'm going to take attendance very quickly. Please uh, remember to open your microphone quickly and stay present or, okay. Alejandra? Present teacher. Cristina? Present. Annie? Present. Mari? Present. Carolina? Present teacher. Christy? Christy? No, Christy. Okay. Um, Herson? Karina? Present. Linda? Present teacher. Julia? Marlene? Mayra? Present. Miguel? Present teacher. Nelson? Present teacher. Norma? Present teacher. Olga? Present teacher. Rafa? Present teacher. Zenaida? Present teacher. Silvia? Suleyma? Present teacher. Uh, Argelia? Present teacher. Nancy? Present teacher. Juan Carlos? Karen? Present teacher. Suleyma Melgar? Present teacher. Y Carla? Present. Ok. Hoy me quedo con Suleyma Rodríguez y um, solo quería también mencionar de que uh, si alguien, uh, bueno, yo creo que todos han estado hasta el momento para su sesión, pero si alguien eh, quiere repetir alguna sesión, déjeme saber um, para, para programarlos ahí para la próxima semana. Ok. Okay. okay, so that's it, guys. Um, take care. Have a good weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Um, relájense o hagan relajo, como ustedes que gusten. Okay. Like wise. Bye. Bye. Okay, sí, también puede ser igual. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye teacher. Good night. Bye, Bye. 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 teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Cristina? Cristi? Cristi, Cristi, ¿tiene pregunta? Ok, bueno, vamos entonces a. Ok. Eh, Suleima. Suleima? ¿Me escucha? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, perfecto, ok, perfecto. Eh, está teniendo problemas con la cámara. Hola, teacher. Hola, hola. Hi. Está teniendo Hi. problemas con la cámara. Yes. ¿Sí? No, 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 ya no, teacher. Ya. Ah, ok, es que no la, no la puedo ver. 
No, ya está bien en la cámara. Ah, ok, pero creo que el internet se, le está fallando. Se le veo a usted. ¿Cómo? La camarita, pero no sé por qué no. Uh -huh. Sí. Déjame revisar mi conexión. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Sí, es que creo que la conexión la tenía mala. Porque okay. se le oía lento, pero, pero hoy sí creo, ya hoy okay. sí ya le veo. Ok, muy bien. Ok, Suleima, cuénteme cómo le puedo ayudar. ¿Qué um, está costando? Quizás con el primer tema, el de el agregar ER, tal vez repasarlo un poquito. Ok. Que es casi similar a lo que vimos ahora, ¿verdad? Correcto, correcto. Vaya, um, hagamos una cosa. Le voy a... Uh, Yeah. Ok, prácticamente uh, es, o sea, aquí estamos cuando estamos comparando, ¿verdad? Ya sea personas, cosas, animales, que estamos comparando. La diferencia entre el que vimos el día de hoy y el ER es de que con el R es cuando solo estamos comparando dos, ¿verdad? Mientras que el oh, okay. abre, aprendimos cuando estamos comparando tres o más. Esa es la diferencia. ¿Ok? Ok. Vale. Entonces, sí, es por eso el ejemplo que decía, por ejemplo, ah, habíamos puesto, quiero ver, de, 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 uh, the time service pizza hat eh, faster than pollo campero. Ajá, ok. Porque Ahí. solo es con el pollo. Uh, el que, ¿Cuál era la, la oración? Es que el tiempo de servicio de la pizza hat es más rápido. Ok. Uh, the um, time service. The time service pizza hat. The pizza hat. Is, is que? Is faster than pollo campero. Ok, very good, exactamente. Muy bien, ahí está la, la idea acá. Eh, justo lo que usted mencionaba, aquí solamente estamos hablando de dos lugares, ¿verdad? El primero es Pizza Hut, ¿verdad? Y el otro es por el Campero. Estamos solamente comparando dos restaurantes, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces... Okay. Como solamente estamos comparando do, dos restaurantes, entonces solo vamos a ir, utilizar el comparative, que viene del de el adjetivo fast y para crear el comparativo, como fast es solamente una sílaba, entonces le vamos a poner ER. Ok. Ok. Pero ya sí estaríamos comparando pizza con todos los restaurantes que tienen, eh, bueno, que sí, digamos todos los restaurantes. Otras pizzerías. Otras pizzerías, entonces podríamos decir eh, Pizza Hut it has the fastest time service of all serious. Ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces aquí ya no estamos comparando una, sino que estamos comparando Pizza Hut con todas las pizzerías que existen. Ok. Entonces son muchas, muchas más que, que dos, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí lo que vamos a usar entonces es la palabra the fast well, siempre, the, siempre le ponemos the y el, el adjetivo es fast ¿verdad? una sílaba nomás por eso es que le vamos a agregar est ok en este caso el pronombre o sea pizza hat siempre va a ir al inicio 
oración? ¿O se puede estructurar de diferente forma la oración? Um, yo diría que sería mejor así, pero sí, en teoría se puede hacer de otra forma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, ok. Ah, y por cierto, en, en el comparative siempre le agregamos dan. Ese es también otro requisito. Mientras aquí okay. lo que le estamos agregando es da. Ok. Ok. Entonces en comparative es dan, que siempre va ahí. Y en el superlative es da, que siempre va ahí. Sí, okay. pero en teoría okay. eh, podríamos estructurarlo así. Ups, perdón. The time service of Pizza Hut is the fastest. Ok. Ok, entonces cuando decimos uh -huh. fácil, no, incluso no tenemos que decir of all the pizzerias. Um, uh -huh. sino, porque se entiende que estamos comparándolo con todo lo demás. Cuando ya utilizamos the fastest, esta palabra the eh, y, el, y el este nos indica que estamos comparando, comparando eh, más de, de tres o más. Ok. Ok, excelente. Uh -huh. Sí, no entendía cuál era la diferencia, pero ahorita sí. Ok, ok, muy bien. Eh, ¿Solo eso o alguna otra inquietud? Solo eso, teacher. Solo eso, ok. Muy bien. Ok, uh, bueno, entonces, eh, bueno, eh, si no hay otra cosa, pues... Uh, Espero que se disfrute de su fin de semana. ¿Verdad? Y acuérdese, um, su lema de que cualquier cosa que usted necesite, alguna um, inquietud que tenga, no dude en ponerme un mensajito y yo lo contesto lo más antes posible. ¿Ok? O si quiere escribirme. Ok, de... está bien. ¿Ok? Vaya, pues. Entonces. Okay. Eh, sí, sí, y pues um, disfrute del fin de semana gracias Iván feliz okay. noche feliz noche